Hi everyone, welcome back to the farm. Today is a gorgeous day outside. For the last several days, we've been dealing with a lot of heat and a lot of rain. But we are in a drying stretch, which is great. The guys have been eager to get second cutting of hay down. And so we're hoping to start mowing hay. That's the plan. We'll see if the plan comes into fruition. The garden is, well, part of the garden is liking the rain and the moisture. Let me quick turn you around. Uh, there's lots of weeds coming in, of course, because of all this rain. But uh, you can see that some of the garden, especially the cucumbers growing up the trellises here, they're loving the rain. Uh, other parts of the garden, which are way over yonder, my flower garden, is not loving it because that soil that is still very heavy clay i've only been working in that garden for a couple years now so uh, there's standing water in there and i also have some tomatoes in standing water tomatoes and peppers that i don't think are going to even make it so so there's been some good and some bad out of all this rain so we are grinding a lot of corn lately. As I showed you in my last video, where our grain bin is getting lower, where it doesn't self-feed down. Um, and so what we decided to do is spend one afternoon in the grain bin, kind of pushing it down uh, to the auger. And we filled our semi. We filled our semi and, uh, and that, and that way we don't have to go in the grain bin quite so many times. So anyway, Sanders is grinding.
got four or five days for it to settle down. But we're talking nice weather for the next week. So we've been so wet. I think we're up to, they said we're anywhere from three to, depends what town, the three to six inches above average. So, So with all the rain that we've had, I don't know if you could hear Kevin in the cab of the tractor, so um, I'll just repeat what he said. With all the rain that we've had the last few weeks, the ground is super saturated, so they're in the low spots there's going to be wet spots, maybe even water standing. Um, we're hoping that over the next couple days that water will go down and the ground can start to dry up. The alfalfa is already flowered, which means the protein in the alfalfa is dropping, but the digestibility is also dropping. Um, we usually like to get alfalfa right when, the, right when we first start to see blossoms. That's when the digestibility is really good. Cows can utilize it. A lot of the times, if you see a lot of blossoms in the alfalfa, then the dairy cows tend to uh, not utilize it, not putting the, the feed into the milk, if that makes any sense. This field here is a mix of alfalfa and different grasses. Yeah, we like to bale second cotton um, just because we don't need the haylage right now. And we have the hay barn that we built last year, so we have plenty of storage for all these bales. And that's the main reason. We've got a busy afternoon today. Ethan is baling some rye straw it's not our own it's our neighbors but we're buying it from them and uh, he just he just called me and said he had sheared uh, a shear bolt which we haven't sheared a shear bolt in quite a while actually anyway um, he didn't have the right tools in the tractor for that which is a hammer and a punch because the sheared bolt is caught in the flywheel so I've had it before like I've had that happen before and you need to get a little hammer and a punch to get that out so here I am in the back lane but I'm heading to him Kevin is raking another neighbor's um, oat straw so uh, he's we're gonna go from baling rye straw this afternoon to baling oat straw uh, for the neighbor Turn you around. It's like there's there's probably five acres of rye. N not a huge field, but we'll take all the straw we can get. And he it looks like he's almost done. Ah, right on the last row. Um, but that's okay. This this field is pretty close to the farm. Um, he is going to be going over further from the farm to do the oat straw. And after the oat straw, then we've got. Another neighbor wants us to bail his second cotton hay. Got lots to do. I didn't find the bent one, but that's probably the closest one I could find. I didn't look in the tractor either. So what happens is a little piece of that bolt is sheared off into the flywheel. We have to probably has a little metal tip on it where it's hard to get come right out. Lock it. Can you hit it and turn it? Well, we can't get it with the tools that we have here at the farm, or at the field, so we're gonna head to the, back to the farm 
It's only about a mile, mile and a half. So he doesn't have far to go. and that's it I think we're up to he said 30 bales or 31 bales so I guess I'll meet him back at the farm so he took this took that apart so it's easier access and then he was able to take the punch a heavier punch and go straight in with it and this is this is why it's hard to get out because it makes a doesn't make for a clean cut when it when it broke. So got that out. We'll put it back together. And finish up bailing. Ethan is finished with baling uh, that little piece. I guess it's like three and a half acres. So not very many, not very many acres, but got a lot of bales off of it. All right, I'm gonna take the loader tractor. We're gonna take up, I'm taking the loader tractor. We are going to pick up those bales and get them home and get them put away. Kevin's gonna drive the semi to the field. And uh, Sanders is behind me. He's been working on his truck, and I'll have to give you an update on that here soon. This little piece of ground yielded really well. He's doing a bale count. I can see it in his eyes. I wonder if it's close to 10 bales an acre. If it is, that's really good. So this is rye. Um, we seeded it last fall, three and a half acres, and we got 34 bales off it. So <clears throat> that's like 10 bales to the acre. 
That's what I was just saying. And, uh, That's yeah, pretty good. They didn't even cut the stubble close to the ground yeah. either, so there's probably a little more. So this is some of the top, I would say, um, we build a lot of acres in our days, and uh, this would be right up there at the top. Anything above 10 is considered really good. Really, really yeah. good. Hopefully ours does the same. Because you planted this, didn't you? Yeah, I planted this. This is actually, we planted it for a neighbor. We planted it, fertilized it, and then uh, they combined it. And, and uh, I've been buying the straw from them off it. So. Yeah. So I don't know what it yielded for uh, rye per bushel of the acre. But, uh, but yeah, for three and a half acres, I mean, it's, it's really good. It's nice straw. Nice straw. So. All right, let's get her home. Here we are in the hay storage shed, and this is where this is where uh, we put all the straw bales that we got from the neighbor. Um, I think Kevin was doing inventory the other day, rearranging some straw and some some stuff that we had from last year, and making room for what we have this year. Um, so this is what we've got. I'm running out of daylight. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of video space on my camera. I think I'm going to have to um, put a to be continued in this video because we're not done with hay yet. We have to bale that and we're not done with our rye straw, our own rye. Actually, as I speak, that's being um, combined right now. That's going to have to be in the next video. Um, so there's a little teaser to come back to the next video. Uh, and the best way to do that and the easiest way to do that is if you're subscribed to my channel Just push the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything that way It will notify you when I put out another video so this time of the year is super busy when everybody is going here and there and we're trying to Help neighbors and we're trying to do our own straw and still take care of the farm. I thank you for Joining us coming along and being part of it going to show you the sunset because it's really pretty. Look at the sun. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't really want to show you my flower garden because, like I said earlier, it's it's a mess. There's weeds everywhere. So, yeah. Just look at the sunset. <laughs> don't look at the don't look at the garden and the weeds. Although I do have some pretty flowers coming. I will say that. Um, but yeah. Oh, I hear Kevin. He must be done bailing for the neighbor. There he is. Good. Perfect timing. Oh, there's Ethan. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. We hope you have an amazing day and we will see you in the next video. Take care. Where's your helmet? What? Where's your helmet? Oh.